Environmental Protection Department EPD, Chinese, Huan Jing Bao Hu Shu is a department of Hong Kong government concerning the issues of environmental protection in Hong Kong. History The Environmental Protection Department EPD was created in 1986 to coordinate and carry out pollution prevention and control activities. Staff and resources from six government departments were deployed to the EPD. The EPD replaced the Environmental Protection Agency, which had been created in 1981 to replace the Environmental Protection Unit, created in 1977 as the main government body charged with tackling pollution. Between 1986 and the 31st of March 2005, it functioned mainly as an executive department enforcing environmental laws and implementing environmental policies. The latter having been determined by the relevant policy bureau, most recently the then Environment, Transport and Works Bureau. On the 1st of April 2005, however, the environmental policy making function carried out by the then bureau was subsumed within the EPD, and the head of the environment branch of the policy bureau took up the dual role of permanent secretary for the environment and director of environmental protection. This significant development has placed the EPD in the position of both determining and implementing environmental policy. Subsequent to the reorganization of Government Bureau on 1 July 2007, a new Environment Bureau was formed overseeing the formulation and implementation of environmental policies. Reorganization in 2007 Following the reorganization on the 1st of July 2007, the EPD has adopted a new structure based on three operational divisions, four policy divisions, a cross-boundary division, and a corporate affairs division. Topic divisions The Environmental Infrastructure Division, responsible for planning, developing and managing waste disposal facilities, such as strategic landfills, refuse transfer stations, and a chemical waste treatment center. The division is also responsible for implementing programs to reduce waste generation and for regional and local planning for sewerage. The regional and local sewerage planned by this division is implemented by the Drainage Services Department as works agent. The Environmental Assessment Division, responsible for reviewing the environmental implications of policies and strategic and local plans, and administering the application of the Environmental Impact Assessment process under the Environmental Impact Assessment Ordinance. This division is also responsible for policy formulation, strategic planning and program development in the area of environmental impact assessment and environmental noise management. The Environmental Compliance Division, responsible for enforcing pollution laws and facilitating business not only to comply with environmental requirements but also going beyond compliance. The Air Policy Division, responsible for policy formulation, strategic planning and program development in the field of air quality management. The Water Policy Division, responsible for policy formulation, strategic planning and program development in the area of water quality management. This includes policy in relation to sewage treatment, and strategic planning for sewerage and sewage treatment facilities which are implemented by the Drainage Services Department. The Waste Management Policy Division, responsible for policy formulation, strategic planning and program development in the field of waste management. This includes policy for waste reduction and recycling. The Nature Conservation and Infrastructure Planning Division, responsible for the formulation of nature conservation policy, the development of the integrated waste management facilities, and also the development of the pilot biodegradable waste treatment plant and the organic waste treatment facilities. Implementation of nature conservation policy however rests with the Agriculture, Fisheries and Conservation Department. 
The Cross Boundary and International Division, responsible for liaison with the mainland authorities on environmental issues of mutual concern, and also for the development of plans to implement the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants. The Corporate Affairs Division, responsible for the departmental administration support, accounting, resources management, human resources management, information technology and knowledge management, and also provides support to HERM reforms and corporate development. The department employs about 1,600 staff, about one quarter of whom are professional staff, half are technical grade staff, and the remainder are administrative and support staff. Starting from July 2007, the director of the department is Ms. Anissa Wong Shan Yi JP, who also the permanent secretary for the environment in the Environment Bureau. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Air quality monitoring. Air quality monitoring by the department is reported by 13 general stations and 3 roadside stations. On 8 March 2012, the department started reporting data on fine suspended particulates in the air on an hourly basis, that are a leading component of smog. It began regular monitoring of PM 2.5 levels, which measure 2.5 micrometers in diameter or less, at three stations since 2005, but the data were never publicized. Other work The department also works with local organizations for advocacy work, including with the Geography Society of PLK Vicwood K.T. Chong Sixth Form College between 2008 and 2009. <laughs> <laughs> Environmental Resource Center Fanling Environmental Resource Center Suen Wan Environmental Resource Center Wan Chai Environmental Resource Center See also Air pollution in Hong Kong <laughs>